In the labyrinth of existence, there exists a portal, hidden yet profound, which peers into dimensions beyond the ordinary. It's called the Third Eye. Far from being just a metaphor, it's an emblem of deep spiritual truths, echoing with age-old wisdom. Just as the words we utter carry vibrations into the universe, the Third Eye captures the universe's silent whispers, reflecting them back onto our souls. This is not merely an eye, but a mirror to the unseen realms. From ancient scrolls to vast temple walls, the concept of the Third Eye has been a recurring theme, etched and revered as the seat of deep intuition and enlightenment. In the Indian spiritual lore, it's eloquently referred to as Ajna, the sixth chakra. This isn't just a point on the body, it's a spiritual conduit that bridges the chasm between mortal understanding and divine wisdom. The Egyptians, with their intricate eye of Horus, didn't merely see it as a design or emblem. For them, it was a profound symbol, resonating with protection, an emblem of royal power, and a key to health and vitality. Like a vast river that has meandered through the annals of civilizations, its currents are rich with whispers and tales of clairvoyance, tales of individuals touching realms beyond, and narratives of deep spiritual awakening. Dive deeper, plunge into the vast oceans of spiritual lore, and you'll quickly discern that the third eye is far more than a simple concept. It's synonymous with attaining a heightened state of intuition and inner knowing. This isn't merely about the act of seeing in a physical sense, but embracing a deeper level of understanding, of perceiving beyond the superficial. Whereas our two physical eyes capture the visual narrative of our tangible, worldly experiences, painting a picture of our reality, the third eye delves into the vast and intricate realms of the unseen. It weaves not just tales, but entire sagas of dreams, mystic visions, and intangible energies that flow around and within us. When this third eye begins its process of awakening, our intuitive abilities don't remain confined to mere hunches or fleeting feelings. Instead, they evolve, metamorphosing into a profound guiding light, a beacon that illuminates our life's path with the clarity of a star-studded celestial night. Embarking upon this sacred journey requires not only faith, but disciplined practice. Here are some tangible steps to awaken your third eye. Meditation. Begin with setting a serene space free from distractions. Lighting a candle or incense can help set the mood. Sit in silence, focusing on the space between your brows. As you breathe deeply, envision an indigo flame glowing steadily at this point. Over time, this simple meditation will sharpen your intuitive prowess. Visualization. Beyond mere imagination, Visualization is the act of creating a realm within. Picture a radiant indigo orb at your forehead. Feel its warmth, its pulsations, its energy. With each session, try to hold onto this image for longer, fortifying its presence. Affirmations. Words, as we've explored, carry power. Each morning, affirm. I am open to the wisdom of the universe. My third eye sees clearly and guides me. Such affirmations, spoken with conviction, create a powerful vibrational alignment with your intention. Nature Connection Spend time outdoors, preferably in areas with lush greenery or by bodies of water. Nature's tranquility can enhance your intuitive abilities, paving the path for the third eye to awaken. These practices, though simple, require consistency. As you delve deeper, you may also explore advanced techniques such as chakra balancing and guided third eye meditations. Remember, the journey to awakening the third eye is unique for everyone. What's paramount is sincerity in intent and practice. Embarking on the journey to awaken the third eye isn't merely about reaching a spiritual milestone. 
It's about undergoing a profound metamorphosis of the soul. The act of decision-making, once seen as a routine, even mundane aspect of life, evolves to transcend the ordinary, becoming an experience deeply embedded in spiritual insight and foresight. The subtle synchronicities of life, those moments previously brushed aside as mere coincidences, start to weave a tapestry that's hard to ignore. They become rhythmic patterns, indicating a dance with the cosmos itself. In this heightened state of awareness, you don't merely exist or pass through life stages. You find yourself in a harmonious ballet with the universe, every step resonating with purpose. The intricate web of life, with its myriad connections and crossroads, becomes not just visible, but palpably evident. And those challenges? They no longer stand as mere obstacles or roadblocks. Instead, they unfurl as deeply enriching lessons, each one adding a stroke to the masterpiece that is your journey toward growth, understanding, and enlightenment. Reflect upon the compelling journey of Arya. Over the course of dedicated months, even years, she nurtured her inner self, and in doing so, she began to sense energies that were previously intangible. She developed an uncanny ability to discern the unseen, deeply resonant vibes that every space, every individual radiated. With this profound, heightened perception acting as her compass, her decisions metamorphosed. They no longer emerged from mere logic or fleeting whims, but began aligning seamlessly with her soul's true purpose, resonating with her innermost desires and aspirations. Parallel to Arya's transformative journey, we have Leo. For him, the dreamscape altered dramatically. No longer were his dreams just nightly escapades, they became almost prophetic in nature. Each vision, each dream began to weave a map, guiding him through the intricate labyrinths of life with a clarity that was both astonishing and revelatory. These individual narratives, brought forth from the very heart of Arya and Leo's experiences, aren't mere anecdotes shared over a campfire. They stand as powerful testimonies echoing the immense transformative potential and ethereal prowess that the awakened third eye beholds. Like a precious gem, the third eye too is shrouded in myths. Many believe it's a ticket to instant spiritual prowess, while skeptics discard it as a myth. Yet, the truth dances somewhere in the middle. An untamed third eye can be overwhelming, even disorienting. But when approached with respect, and genuine intent, it unfurls as a guide, a mentor, a friend. Joseph Murphy's wisdom resonates here. As you sow in your subconscious mind, so shall you reap in your body and environment. Similarly, the third eye feeds on what you present to it. If you approach it with skepticism, it reflects confusion. But when you approach with love and trust, it illuminates paths previously hidden. Now you might wonder, with all these tales of transformation, why do many still walk in darkness? The answer lies in Neville Goddard's insight. We don't manifest what we desire, but who we are. In the realm of the third eye, this truth amplifies. One doesn't just see the world through this eye, but witnesses oneself in all of creation. Each word you speak, every emotion you feel, paints the canvas of your third eye's perceptions. It is not a passive observer, but an active participant in your life's dance. As Hermes Trismagus proclaimed, our gift of speech and mind makes us akin to the divine. The third eye amplifies this truth, reminding us of our eternal essence and our potential to transcend the mundane. Tread this path with reverence, for when you embark on this journey, you don't just change your perception, you transform your very soul. Embrace this evolution, for in doing so, you don't just witness the universe, you become one with it, singing its ancient lullabies and dancing to its timeless rhythms. 
Such is the magic of the third eye. Such is the power of seeing life change as it happens.